grabbed it like that. Hit his area with 51. Everything in the butterflies. Go get your man. And I feel like butterfly gonna be captain. So all y'all wanna know what happened. I'm gonna tell you what happened. He got smoked. Hey. Let's bring it in. Hey. Yeah. Hey. Hey. You already know what it is. Salute to the subscribers, that notification gang, etc., etc. Don't let none of that get too far ahead of you. Uh, let me walk in. All my niggas paid so you don't know who the boss is. Of course, it's the nigga who was riding in them pulches. I'm made too, and I'm paid too. My shades blue, Gatorade blue, yeah. What's up with they crew? Shout out to the subscribers, that notification gang. I am uh, buffed up today because uh, the Michigan Wolverines, shout out to the squad, got by Ohio State. Ohio State is a very tough team. I know a lot of people are like, you're from New York. How do you like Michigan? Well, um, half my family is from Michigan. My mom's side and everybody's from Michigan. New York never really had any great college football teams, so I'm a college football fan, so I migrate towards where the family's from. Shout out to Michigan, um, Monroe, Michigan, Detroit, Ann Arbor, Flint, you know what I'm saying, the Lansing, all up and down. A lot of people don't know that. I, mean, I go to the Michigan damn near every year too, so shout out to the city. But uh, great game, Marvin Harrison Jr. Oh my God, that motherfucker's a nightmare. You do not want to have to play against Marvin Harrison Jr. more than once a year. Wherever he goes, hopefully he don't have to waste his talent on the Bears, but wherever he goes, and you know, I don't want him playing with Daniel Jones either. But that dude's a... <laughs> He's a monster, man. Um, so shout out to Ohio State, but uh, today was uh, Michigan Day. You know what I'm saying? Had to get that. Uh, they'll win the Big Ten Championship probably next week versus Iowa, and we'll see what we do in the playoffs. But, uh, yeah, shout out to the squad. Let's keep it moving, man. Um, it's a couple things going on in battle rap. So I just said I'd do, like, a little pseudo version of this week in battle rap. Where I, I might have to, like, go back through. Uh, you got... A lot going on. You have a lot of the feedback from Clean No Show and the online battle. Shout out to everybody that watched that blog. You know what I'm saying? Um, I, I don't think he's really like addressed the shit yet. Caps, I hope you got your money back. Uh, shout out to everybody that watched that joint. You know what I'm saying? Like every now and then you got to remind people to remind. You got to rewind, find. It's more to find. Shout out to everybody out there that supports the channel and everybody who does what they do. You know what I'm saying? But like... <laughs> that had to be the funniest shit ever. And I ain't gonna, I ain't gonna talk about it too long today, man, but woo, woo, we. Every Thanksgiving, you know what I'm gonna be thinking about, man. You you got it, baby. <laughs> you got it. Keep keeping your head up. Um, so, it, like, I seen Averb is on a war path. Uh, he's talking his shit to a lot of people. Shotgun Shook. Shotgun Shook dropped some music. You know what I'm saying? Check out his project. It's on all his streaming platforms. I mean, all of his social media platforms and everything. He does have a new project he just dropped. He never misses with the music. So I definitely want to um, say that and shout that out first. You know what I'm saying? Because I feel like that's 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 imperative, especially in what we do. You know what I'm saying? Like, shout outs to Shotgun Suge and everything that he's doing, especially musically. But uh, A-Verb is on the warpath. He's, uh, he's firing at everybody, basically, that's affiliated, that runs with that's associated, that steps up for, that speaks engagement. Pew, pew, pew. Oh, 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 now nah, I ain't with them niggas, bro. I ain't with them, bro. He was with, he was with him. Shout out to Soldier the Game Spit. That's what he was saying. He was with him. Nah, I wasn't with him. You know what I'm saying? Bird firing at everybody. Uh, from what I'm getting is, Cause here's the thing, right? And I, I rock with Verb, you know what I'm saying? I see what he be doing, I know what he's doing. He's an opportunist. I know what it's like to be one, I'm an opportunist. I'm not gonna be working for nobody for free. I don't wanna be around no niggas who wanna do no shit for free. I got kids, I got mortgage, I got shit to pay. So I understand that. My motto from now on is I'm going to say what pays. I don't care about these niggas' feelings, I don't care about these niggas' emotions, cause I got a couple of things. I got a couple of things I'm gonna talk about today. Listen, listen, hold up, hold up, hold up. If you ain't get your drink, get your drink. If you need to get something out your car, go get it and roll up. Cause we gonna talk. So, um, and I gotta cut, like I wanna, I wanna make sure I remember everything too. I ain't got no notes or nothing, I don't need nothing. You know what I'm saying? I, you know what I'm saying? I get, it, I get the thing done without no notes. So, um, so you think, you hear that uh, Verb is going back and forth with URL. He's releasing audio of conversations that P had talking about basically everything. And it's like, 
a lot of jealousy, a lot of, you know what I'm saying, like they watching what this league is doing and what that league is doing when they say it doesn't matter. It looks kind of crazy. I'm not going to hold you, but what kind of shit is here? I'm not oblivious to this because when I'm hearing this, this is a P conversation, but you have to have, you have to know him to know that this is a standard, op this is standard conversation. Like he talk, he'll talk like this and he's a guy. And I don't got no issue with him, you know what I'm saying? I know he's probably going to see this. There ain't no beef. I've had issues with him before, but as of now, I don't really have no dog in this fight. I could really give a fuck less. I'm just talking uh, because people want to hear it, you know what I'm saying? Uh, and I got some insight and intel of the whole situation. So, he's a guy that, he's riding for URL, obviously. You know, he works for them. They pay him. He pays his bills off Battle Rap. What, what, it's a lovely thing. You work, you do shit with Battle Rap, you can pay your mortgage, pay your bills, pay everything, you know what I'm saying, get your bread, and you're doing good. So, you got to be loyal to what waters your soil. You know what I'm saying? Like, like a lot of niggas, like a lot of niggas, it's like, they have to be. Um, then you got other people that's on the other side that, don't, that do whatever they do. They get a job here, a job there, do what they do here, do what they do there. So there's no, you don't have to be super up under nobody. Like I worked at RBE, I worked at Chrome 23. Um, me and SP will be hosting uh, Cancel Christmas. Let me throw them buffs back on. What the fuck? What the fuck wrong? Let me throw them motherfucking buffs back on. Yeah, yeah, we will be hosting the pay-per-view for that. I'm going back to work with them. I'm working with where the bread is at. Who got the money? Who got the money? You got the money, I'll bring the show over there. Then I take the show from here and bring it over there. Then I take the show and bring it over there. You know what I'm saying? I bring the show where it need to go. I don't do this. I'm not up under no league. I don't want to do that. I want to get paid. I got kids to feed. It is what it is. I got to get this bread. SP has to get paid too. I made it a thing to make sure that he gets paid. I'll make sure he get paid before I do. That's where I'm at in life. And he can tell you that. I will make sure he got to get paid. Because he's going, you know what I'm saying? He's working a job and shit. I've retired since, like, you know what I'm saying, this year I just said, man, fuck these jobs, you know what I'm saying, these motherfuckers is tripping, I ain't got time to do it. I won't be a slave for no companies and shit. I'm, I'm trying to work on getting him out of his job too, but we working and we grinding and we gonna get there to make his fit fair. So, if we do something, he gotta get paid, you know what I'm saying, because if he takes a day off work, I don't want him to lose his bread. That's the shit that's going on in my head, you know what I'm saying, I know I'm rhyming, but so what? Um, so, you gotta be loyal to what pays you. A lot of people have to do that. So P is riding for his side. But these conversations that he's having, whoever he's talking to is recording them and putting them out. Please, get out of here. Get out of here, man, shit, you know what I'm saying? You got, you got, you got to throw water on your line. You got to throw water on your line, P. I don't know what you got going on on your horizon, on the horizon, but my nigga, you got to, you talking to the wrong people. That's why I don't be talking to a lot of people in battle rap. They can say, niggas can say whatever they want about me, but you can't tell me 10 niggas in battle rap that I would talk to on the phone. Might not even be five, bro. I just do, we do our own thing. I don't want to talk to niggas because this is the type of stuff that goes on. A nigga will record your whole conversation and put it out. And Verb is, is at war with them. He didn't record the conversation because he never spoke to Pete. So it's somebody that hates him that much that would speak to him, give another nigga his conversation to put it out. Now, I, I don't, I'm not with it, you know what I'm saying, that's not really my thing, I, I don't want, you know what I'm saying, nobody putting my conversation out of shit, because if the shit that I say can get me put away, because I tell niggas I don't like them on camera, so just imagine what I would say, you know what I'm saying, so I know that the shit that I would say, that's got me here, you know what I'm saying, damn near top tier, I know that <laughs> it ain't for every single ear, you know what I'm saying, because I done had conversations about people that, if they may feel I have an issue, I may have an issue, and I'm telling them why. Nah, fuck that. This is because this, this, and this. Recently, I just recently, last week, somebody had talked crazy about me before, reaching out, trying to apologize and shit, and I'm like, fuck all that. I don't need your apology. Like, don't wait, don't wait till I get wherever you think I'm at to start apologizing. I don't want your apology, because where was that when you was talking crazy about me when I never said anything about you? That's how I'm, that's how I'm at it with niggas. Don't leave me alone, I'll leave you alone. That's how I, when I do the same with SP. I don't start things, but I will finish them. I will, I will finish them with whoever, I don't care. Like it is what it is, I don't care. That's just how it's been. So Verb is one of them type of people that I see a lot of the same men, like he's like, yo, he's exposing the fact that he got these conversations with Pete talking crazy about people, whether it be the artist, whether it's ARP, whether it's Remy, whether it's Easy, like all these, why is these conversations coming out? You gotta throw water on your phone, my man. You got the wrong, it's, it's leaking your shit and it looks crazy. I mean, and I know that, you know, y'all just don't say nothing and y'all gonna leave it alone, but 
That's crazy that niggas got your conversation. And you don't know what you didn't say because you say so much to so many that you don't even know who you said this shit to. And it's wild. And we don't talk like that. You know what I'm saying? So I know that. Don't, don't even speculate to extra hate. I don't talk to P like that. You know what I'm saying? I think like one of the couple times I did was when I was talking shit to him and it was facilitated through a third party. You know what I'm saying? The nigga was like, yo, we got to get on the phone. I was like, man, fuck all that. I ain't trying to hear it. I wasn't then, but you know, we deaded it. And so that's why I'm just expressing what's going on. So Verb is releasing audio. He's doing all of this shit. And he's basically saying that the whole time that Swamp is being fed that Verb was ducking, he never got a contract. And he's showing the text that Beasley's texting him. I'm going to go to the bank tomorrow and send you the money running and ducking and doing this shit. And I heard that Beasley, I heard that about you before. I've heard it from multiple niggas that you like Houdini, you know what I'm saying? Now you here, you going next week, you a genie, nigga. They say you be all over, you a spin master. They say you spin a nigga quick as shit. You know what I'm saying? You a spin doctor. So he'll tell you, all right, I got you tomorrow, then nigga wait till next week, then this, that, and the third. And he says, you know, Swamp is online talking shit about the battle, and you got him believing or being led to believe that Verb is ducking the battle. But Verb, like I said, is an opportunist. I am one too. Because like I said, I'm not doing nothing for none of y'all for free. That's the shit that the issue that me and Debo be having. He think I'm gonna do the work for him that I do for other people, and then that nigga don't ever call me by no money. I'd be like, fuck that. Why do you think I'm working for you? I don't work for you. None of you battle rapper niggas say something to me. I'm too I'm serious too. I'm talking to him and you niggas be sensitive and I'm saying the truth. Leave me alone. I like most of y'all. You know what I'm saying? So we be talking back and forth, and you know, he talk like he talk, but I'm like, nigga, <clears throat> I got kids to feed. I don't work for free. I tell niggas that. He still ain't released this whole card. The niggas still ain't released this whole fucking card yet. But you let Remy come on your block and take your shit? Is you a motherfucking man, my nigga? <laughs> drop your motherfucking card, nigga. Straight up. And you know what else? You all uh, y'all need to drop that Rum Nitty versus Foots. I'm going to get back to that verb shit. I'm going to finish that. But y'all niggas need to drop that Rum Nitty and Foots. Y'all think y'all fucking slick. How does Rum Nitty have a battle out with Kid Slade right now and his battle before that ain't out yet? Because y'all let the nigga rap for 28 minutes around. Put it out. Put it out. We want to see the battle. I'm paying for the app. Why is every other battle out and not that one? Put the battle out. That shit is absurd that his battle is not out with Foots. Why is it not out? Why? Because you fucked that pack up. Not me. We need that battle out. So Verb is a... Uh, he wildin', you know what I'm saying? And... He's going in, you know what I mean, on everybody that's like, because Piper Boy and Swamp got into it real quick. Because Swamp, I think Piper Boy said, shout out to him too. I didn't screenshot or save it. I think he said something about Verb not getting the contract. And I agree with both of them. He showed the text message that said he didn't, that he was waiting and asking for the contract or asking for a deposit, and he did not get that. So how can the nigga be wrong if he's asking for a deposit or he's asking for the contract and he ain't got it? So Somebody told a lie one day. Somebody got to explain, please. I'm not here to complain, I'm here to explain. You and nigga, like if y'all gonna hate, like if you hate Verb, or whatever the case may be, me and Verb ain't always been the greatest. We good now because, you know what I'm saying, I see a lot of the same formalities in this nigga. I don't give a fuck, fuck these niggas and fuck everything they stand for. I get it. But at the same time, when I don't see something that he's doing that's wild, like I said with his promotion for, uh, Max, I thought the shit was overly excessive. I said, how can this nigga do this shit for 90 days? I can't fucking believe it. Like, this is an achievement. I can't fucking believe it. So, and I, I like, you know what I'm saying? So I, I tell him when I'm like, yo, that shit is super excessive, my nigga. I wake up every day when I wake up to go to the gym, you know what I'm saying? I'm gonna get my, stop, stop, you know what I'm saying? I've been in there. Um, I, <laughs> every day when I wake up at six o'clock in the morning, this nigga's either on space, out of space, on YouTube, and he's going crazy on somebody. We good though, I don't need none of that, you know what I'm saying? Shout out to the motherfucking set, you know what I'm saying? I, you niggas need somebody, who y'all niggas need shot? Who niggas, who niggas need shot, Ferg? Boop, 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 burn them all down, nigga. I don't care, everybody must go. So I don't got no problems with the nigga, you know what I'm saying? He be talking this shit about the blogger sometimes. He, he put me in the right lane though. He'll be like, only Vada made a blog about it, or Vada did. So he, we, we good, you know what I'm saying? But we be burning down the blogger sometimes. Be like, God damn, my nigga like, you shoot too much, nigga. Like, come on, dog. I'm over here. With, I'm on the same side of the street as he. Remember the side of the street? Very remember the conversation. But that's still my nigga. Um, so he's basically saying that Swamp is being fed a story, and I seen the texts, unless they're not real. But I know they're real because Verb wouldn't be going to that extra length. That was asking for the money, asking for the contract, and the spin master is fucking spinning this shit. You can't be mad. 
Like, how can you be mad? So now he asking P to fight. He asking Beasley to fight. This nigga want to throw the gloves on P. This nigga burp dick he got there. A big thing he creed. He want to fight the niggas and shit. Yo, what is up with Burr? Yo, this nigga is... I said I wanted to get him on TV. Unfortunately, a lot of the schedule is full for the rest of the year. You know what I'm saying? I really wanted to get him on... Fox News, cause I be wanting to talk, I want to have an interview with this nigga, you know what I'm saying? I know he say he ain't doing no four hour interviews with nigga. I seen him going back and forth, you know what I'm saying? But I don't got, I don't need four hours. I get this shit done in about half an hour. But you know what I'm saying? The schedule's full, so I might not get Verb up there this year. But prayerfully and carefully, if we move on to next year with TV, I definitely got to get him there. But bro, so he's he going back. He, he up there talking about he want to fight these niggas and throw the gloves on. And like I said, verse space will be like two hours long. So I'll try to, I'll listen to like 45 minutes, then I'll come back, another 30 minutes. I can't get through the whole shit at once because, you know what I'm saying? I, I, I can't. But he's still my, I like what he, I, I listen to it though. So he feels like URL put Chris Unbias up to doing a whole blog about him and shit. If you ask me, no, I don't feel that way because... Chris Unbiased does those type of blogs where it's like a documentary style and he'll pick a subject and he does it, they're really well put together, you know what I'm saying, I ain't gonna fucking hold you, like that type of shit takes time to do. Um, and Bird feels like you're all put him up to it, you know what I'm saying, I think it's something that he did that they probably uh, will see and be like, yeah, we cold, they like it, but I don't, I could, I, if you asked me to put $100 on whether he put, did it for them or did not, I would put it on he did not because he knows that if he makes a long ass blog like that and it's full of like relevant shit, motherfuckers gonna watch that thing all the way through. So verb, I, I don't I, I see where you at with it, but I mean a blogger is only gonna do what a blogger does, which is make content for people to watch. You know what I'm saying? I don't believe I don't I mean I'm not on nobody's payroll. I'm I'm a contractor. You know why I call it the, the, this ain't the you know what I'm saying? I tell niggas it's the pay phone. Not the play phone, you know what I'm saying? Don't call me for no play, I don't call play none of that shit. This is the pay phone. So when you call me, what you need, okay, damn, we out there. What you need, you got the date, you got the flight, you got the hotel, Airbnb, what we doing? All right, no, 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 no La Quintas, no red roofs. We don't do no roofs, we ain't doing spirit, no frontier to get us here. All right, let's get it clear. You know what I'm saying? This is the pay phone. So they call me with, with the, so I understand what it, what it means to, 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 to go from company to company and work with people, you know what I'm saying? And some people will feel like, yo, you want too much. Some people will feel like, you know what I'm saying? They'll ask you your price, they feel like, yo, you charge me more than an artist. Well, I bring more than certain artists bring. You know what I mean? So, um, so he feels like URL is, uh, put Chris up to this, and you know what I'm saying? So now he's going back and forth with him. He's ready to burn shit down, you know what I'm saying? But the overall thing is, the nigga asked for the contract and he never got it. He asked for a deposit and he never got it. That's that's wild. Your artist should not believe that a nigga's backing out on him or ducking him if he's never got got anything before. So he feels like he's compelled to go to war with these niggas and that's why he's releasing all this audio on P and bro, this shit is crazy. Like he got audio files of you, and then you he got audio files of you talking about sabotaging events or pulling away cards and you in a lawsuit with ARP. This shit is wild. This is why, like, the nigga could really take the audio and say, yo, look, he put, he, he literally planned and plotted against something that I had going on. Yo, that shit don't look good, man. I'm telling you, man, in court of public opinion, it looks really, but oh, I've been to all of these niggas, it's slimy. They try to make it seem like I was the dirty nigga. I was the only, all, every single one of these niggas have some dirt on their hands, but they just would like to see you see other people's shit. But at the end of the day, we all getting paid, but I'm telling you, that is, it, every single time some shit come out, I'm never surprised, because I'm like, this is, this is these niggas, bro, like, <laughs> it's not just one or ten or five, it's every one of them, you know what I mean? Because nobody, it, it, it's like some of these businesses where in order to make it to the top, you got to step on as many people as you can, every single one of these niggas in position is a stepper, they stepping on the next person, stepping on the next person, Debo talk shit about the queen of the ring, I mean, about, about Remy and them, fuck that. Step on your, step on your shit. Now, I'm, I'm putting a card out where I'm going to take your main event. And ARP was the one who said this, because you got to watch ARP's blog. He was kind of going in on d -boy. He ain't saying by name, but I definitely knew who he was talking about. He's like, yo, the nigga took your main event and put it on the middle of the middle of the card the day before. So now the person that you got headlining tomorrow is on the middle of a card the day before. That just brings everything down a little bit, whether you like it or not. I'm just calling it like I call it so I can't spoil it. And I mean, I really don't, I really don't subscribe to anybody, so I can pretty much say what I want, and that's just the way it goes. But 
you know, it, it's here's the deal, right? Uh, I would say I say support all of these events. I will watch every one of them. You know what I'm saying? There's people on all of these cards. I mean, I don't know all of Queen of the Rings cards, but there's people who I do watch on that card. I do watch Shuni battles. I do watch KCJ battles. I do watch them. And there's people that's going to be on Rome card that I watch. You know what I mean? It's, but at the end of the day, they all picking their card. Like, card, 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 throw your card on the table, may the best man win. It's a business. It's competition, so there's nothing wrong with it. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, he don't feel what's going on. Trust me, he don't feel what's going on. He's vocalized and expressed to me he doesn't. I mean, it ain't really, I don't really care much. Y'all know who I get, how I am. But at the same time, it's like, yo, when they go left, you go right. Up your hustle. Make it more incentivized for the people that want to see that shit. Put the shit together. I've been hearing money issues. I have been hearing that. Top tier women. You think they don't confide in us? You think they won't tell a blog? I'm like, why you ain't on this card and you on this? Why you ain't on that? And they'll tell me the money wasn't right. I don't have to call it. ARP said it in his shit. If you ain't got the money, get out the street. If you ain't got the money, stop standing in front of the strippers. And I ain't saying that to be my battle rappers and strippers. I'm speaking strip club correlation, nigga. Get, get out the way, nigga. You know what I'm saying? This ain't, this ain't the play phone. It's the pay phone. If you ain't paying, you ain't staying. You know what I'm saying? Niggas know how the shit go. But anyway, so Verb is in his, in his bag. He's just airing out everybody. And it's like, bro, like, wow. What in the hell is going on? And it's it's non-stop too. It's not it is non-stop. Uh there's a battle that I want y'all to check. Uh Tay Rock versus Gunpowder Pat. With it, I'm highly aware. I don't even know how to be fair. You gonna lose every round online and nobody gonna care. I will pop the trunk, put gunpowder in there. Y'all gonna need a special light to even tell Gunpowder was dead. I solemnly swear, nigga. I solemnly swear. Nigga, they don't rap. He don't, he don't rap like that. Car Rover, hop out the sport, hit rock like Lamar. What? But y'all know how he be talking. On um, We Go Hard. Shout out to We Go Hard, you know what I'm saying? Brooklyn is Brooklyn in the house. Um, we Go Hard, New York, base, B-City, you know what I'm saying? Steams, a lot of other cats that be out there. Gwitty came from out of there. Reaper Rell, Chess. Uh, Chess is definitely a We Go Hard guy. Jerry West is a We Go Hard guy. Uh, Prep was on We Go Hard. Ryder was on We Go Hard. Uh, I seen Snake Eyes on We Go Hard. Uh man, Brooklyn Carter. Um, I could just, I could be name. I'll be sitting here all right. I'll be sitting here naming people for fucking twenty minutes in a row if I was talking about all the people from the East Coast that came from We Go Hard. Uh, I've actually been to We Go Hard events back in the past. You know what I'm saying? They be in the trenches, in the hood, in the gutter. But it really was, you know, a lot of gas in there. And to see Tay Rock go there and battle against Gunpowder Pat, I definitely was watching to see how was he gonna be received. You know what I'm saying? And in the beginning. Ah, oh, man, it was it. his first round. I was like, yeah, it's going to be one of them nights, man. His first line was kind of pause worth. <laughs> and, and, and the crowd let him know immediately. They let him know immediately and expeditiously how, how crazy his first line was. Um, Gunpowder Pat died. Uh, I got Tay Rock winning 3 0. But uh, his hype man was out of fucking control. This nigga was doing gun signs at caution. Yo, who, what, what, yo, I can't understand, son. Like, why is your hype man doing a gun sign at a whole female, my nigga? Like, this is out of control. So I told my shooters, when you shoot, shoot the kill. If you miss rock, proceed with caution. Yeah. Yeah. Nigga, I'm with all the danger. Yeah, fuck me. Yeah. Fuck me. <laughs> nigga, I'm with all the danger. No camera no more. I don't know who this nigga is and don't wish to know. You know what I'm saying? But ain't no way. No grown ass man is supposed to be behind. He taller than Rock, Pat, and her, and he doing all of this and he talking all in the battles. After a while, he had to tell him to get back. I'm like, yo, what's this nigga doing? So this nigga on a Molly, son. This nigga gotta be crazy. on perk thirty or something. That bitch show like, nah, son. Your man was getting, uh, he was getting flambéed in front of you, and you was up there doing that extra shit. You the extra nigga of the week. That shit was not wavy. You know what I'm saying? I want somebody to get that word back to you, my nigga. It's all gravy, but that shit was not wavy. You was fucking up the footage. Uh, Rock has some definitely some dope lines in there. He has some punches. Um, he 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 definitely like all the things that you think he would say to Pat, like a Pat Ewing. You know what I'm saying? He said uh, he said uh, I put the gun to the 
bottom and they have to push patching up, patching, you know, patching them up and all that other shit. You know how Rock is. He had the AMG shit. Uh, uh, I'm trying to think of something good to say about <laughs> getting by the pat. Uh, I hated his slogan, patness. I can pat at any moment. I stay pat there. I was like, what is this nigga doing? What the, what the twerk is this nigga doing? What, what the fuck is going on here? The nigga said patness. I can pat you in a coma. I would <laughs> Whoever told you that shit was wavy, it's not a maybe, my nigga. Stop that shit. Stop that shit. Don't do that shit no more. And the funny thing is, you did that shit in a couple. I heard you do that in some other battles, dog. That's not it, bro. That patness, I can pat you in. No, nigga. No. No, no, no. Don't do that. Um, But it was pretty entertaining. Like I said, he was being extra. He bumped rock a couple times and shit. It's like, come on, man. Bro. You got a nigga coming from God tier down here to battle you in the fucking slums. You don't have you bumping a nigga, being all extra, your man doing gun signs, all the nigga fake. Like, God damn, you losing already, my nigga. Don't make me, don't make Fada have to talk about the battle, nigga. Shit, let the motherfucker fly by. Now you got me talking about this shit. Um, like I said, there's all three events coming up pretty soon. You got one coming. We do have the predictions and all of that coming out for that. Uh, Shotgun Shug. Shotgun Shug, man, I want to talk about you for a second, my nigga. What, 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 what you doing, my nigga? What, what, what you on? You got Ace I mean coming up, right? And I talked about it, I did the prediction and the breakdown and all that shit in New York. You can't lose to this nigga in New York, bro. If you lose to Ace I mean in New York, that shit gonna look wild for you, my nigga. Like you been I remember you on Summer Madness 6. Uh, I pack bangers. I do construction work on Ave with a jackhammer. When I never even knew who Ace I mean was, my nigga. I ain't hear about that nigga till five years after you did that shit. You come up to New York and lose to that nigga in New York, it's gonna be up for you. And I fuck with you, but it's gonna be up. No, ain't no damn way. I'm not, I can't do it. I can't do it. I can't do that one. Mm -mm. No, no, no. Ain't no way, bro. And you be wanting the big battles too? I hope this gets to you. Oh, somebody make sure this gets to him. You, because I remember that Shuni shit. <laughs> do not play around. Because when you when you had the battle with Shuni, he was hitting me up and was talking about, oh man, nah, check the bars. And I'm like, my nigga, I, been, I do this shit for a living. I don't have to rewind nothing. I could re. I, I think in the past five years, it's been like three battles that I couldn't determine a winner off of. And I watch hundreds and hundreds and hundreds. But shit gotta be like easy versus chess. You know what I'm saying? Like some dynamic shit where I really gotta go back and get to the one, one going into the third. And I really gotta, that, if, if you, you ain't been having those. I'm just saying, you ain't been, you've not been having those. So, you know, you got an opportunity versus Ace Amin to do really big in New York, and I would definitely suggest that you do that because uh, this nigga right here, uh, you got and you got angles too. He just had a shit with Rex and them niggas in New York with the not. Oh my god! Don't play with that nigga, man. Do not play with him. Um, finally, yeah, like I said, uh, shout out to everybody out there. You know what I'm saying? That watches this content, whether religiously or in passing. Like I said, it's, it's a couple cards coming up. Uh, you know, support the cards. I will say to support the cards. And I will do, we'll do a breakdown. We'll talk about Queen of the Ring card when the whole thing comes out. I don't do battle for battle for battle. If it ain't, you know what I'm saying? It gotta be some heat, my nigga. You gotta be dropping some heat. You gotta be dropping some heat. And I asked them niggas for the whole card. And he didn't give it to me. You hold the battles back like Shay Rack versus whoever she's battling. No, no disrespect, but you don't got to hold that back from me. Why are you holding that back from a Vada Fly or from a nigga with, that could really help, like, really talk about your shit? You don't have to hold that back from me. I knew Hitman Holler from versus Ill Will like three days before it happened was coming out. I knew Goods versus Calico like a week before it was happening, before I, before the announcement dropped. Nigga trusted me with battles that he paid a hundred thousand for. You got people that like I gotta convince them to watch that you holding back from me. This is the reason why I act like I act. You got a nigga holding. You got a nigga that's paying me to be somewhere that's giving me big names, big informations, and I ain't leak a single word. I'm asking you out of confidence to try to help you as your man and you looking at me like I don't fuck with you because I don't want to do all this shit for free. So, shout out to y'all. I hope it works well. You know what I'm saying? You could have called me. Yo, Vada, man. I got X, Y, and Z. Come host the joint. Have you called? Did you call me and say that? No. But you mad when somebody else do. I can't fuck with that type of shit. You know what I'm saying? That's why we tell niggas, don't call my phone. I don't want to talk to these niggas because you got no situation for me. But you mad about where I'm gonna be? Nah, I don't rock like that. Nah, nope, nope, nope. And it'll be whatever it gotta be. I don't. Mm -mm. No, 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 no. Niggas be trying to. Niggas would rather see your lights get cut off than see you eat. <laughs> but niggas would be like, they your man. <laughs> Yo, you my man. You my man. Nigga, watch your lights get cut off. <laughs> 
Oh man, that's why I don't talk to these niggas, man. <laughs> Cause they'll record your conversation and put it out too. <laughs> nope.